Hi there, I'm Megan and I go by Solar Glow Meditations. Tonight we're going to have a dowsing rod session where I will be asking questions that you guys have submitted. So if you guys have questions that you want me to ask in these sessions, if you could submit them to the link in the description box, I'll put it down below. Um, it helps keep me organized because my backlog of questions keeps growing, which is fantastic. You guys are so curious and I appreciate that. Um, so yeah. A few other things. Uh, the future is not set in stone. Anything I ask about the future can change. It's just the most likely outcome at this point in time based on the way things are going, the way people are acting, general sentiment in the uh, ether. So take those things with a grain of salt. Know that you can change the future if you want to just by changing your actions, your thoughts, and go from there. Um, also, I am not a medical professional. Please do not take this as medical advice. Please talk to your doctor before making any decisions medically. And in this case, it's for uh, entertainment purposes only. Um, other things, I don't necessarily believe everything that comes through the rods. This is very much for your own discernment. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and go from there. So yeah, I think that covers it. Oh, if you guys... Um, want to i do release these videos early for subscribers so if you want to join my channel there's a link in the youtube uh website you might have to join from a desktop computer i know some folks have had issues with that so so yeah with that let's go ahead and get into it and figure out who we're talking to if you're listening and willing to answer questions could you cross the rods for yes thank you could you open wide for no thank you could you point to the direction of your energy Thank you. Am I speaking with an archangel? No. I'm speaking with an ascended master. Um, am I speaking with a former musician? Yes. Thank you. Am I speaking with Paul McCartney? About Michael Jackson? No. Am I speaking with Beethoven? Oh, hey, Beethoven. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, are you here because you know we're going to ask some questions about you? Okay, well, thank you for being here. Um, is music magic? Yes, thank you. Is composing music a form of alchemy? No, oh, thank you. Uh, Beethoven, do you like alchemy? No. Would some other folks consider it alchemy? Yes, thank you. Um, do musicians sell their souls to get famous? No, thank you. Can frequency magic in the music steal your soul? Really? Okay, well, thank you. Uh, and when they say steal your soul, does that mean like get lost in the music? Thank you. Uh, they can't actually physically remove your soul from your body though, is that right? Yes, thank you. And there's nothing that they can do to your soul to take it away from you. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> You're freaking me out here a little bit, Beethoven. Okay. Um, is the octave perfect? Yes, thank you. Will Britney Spears return to the music industry? No, thank you. Is Britney Spears still alive? Yes, thank you. Is the pr person on Britney Spears' Instagram a clone? No, thank you. Was Britney Spears killed? Yes, thank you. Was she brought back to life? No. Wait, did she have like a soul walk in? Yes, thank you. So she had a different soul come into her body. Yes, thank you. Interesting. Um, okay. Can music, art, or history evoke past lives through deep emotions? Yes, thank you. Is the music artist Machiavelli really Tupac? No, thank you. Does listening to metal music lower your frequency? Yes, thank you. Is this just your opinion? No, okay. Do you like metal music? No, <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Is all the knowledge we have about the day the music died in 1959 accurate? 
Yeah, thank you. Do cats like, like listening to music and prefer certain genres? Yes, thank you. Is there one genre all cats prefer? No, thank you. Does music help spirituality? Yes, thank you. In heaven, can you listen to music? Yes, thank you. Can a music physically heal a person? Yes, thank you. Well, Beethoven, do you listen to when people play your music today? Yes, thank you. Like if they were to play your music on the piano, would you be listening? Yes, thank you. Do you like it when people do that? Yeah, thank you, even if they make mistakes. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, do all or some pyramids have specific musical notes associated with them? Yes, thank you. Do the musical notes represented by each of the pyramids create a specific song or prayer? No answer. Thank you. Is the first three minutes of Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 7 uh, movement to have special self-healing properties. Yes, thank you. Is the first three minutes of Beethoven Symphony Number no. 7 movement to have special manifestation energy? No, thank you. When you were composing that movement, did you do that with that specific intention? Yes, thank you. Were you consciously aware of what you were doing at the time? No, thank you. Uh, Beethoven, did you have synesthesia? Yes, thank you. Um, did you see sound? Yes, thank you. Did it have color? No. Did it have numbers? Yes. Interesting. Um, did you, were you able to see energy? No, thank you. Were you able to see auras? No, thank you. Are planet frequencies bad for us to listen to? No, thank you. Is the sound bath, uh, or is a sound bath capable of removing hexes and spells? Yes, thank you. Can a sound bath clear our chakras? Yes, thank you. Are we all made from sound or vibration? Yes, thank you. Can the sound of your own voice heal you? Yes, thank you. Can sound lead you to enlightenment? Yes, thank you. Do different sound frequencies have spiritual or physical effects on us? Yes, thank you. Beethoven, is your music generally high vibe? Yes, thank you. Is a bird's song music? Yes, thank you. Can deaf people perceive music? Yes, thank you. Was Mozart a vessel of the divine in the music he composed? No. <laughs> Do you like Mozart? No. Okay. Uh, is it fair to ask questions about him of you? Yes, thank you. Was Mozart channeling when he composed music? No. Okay. Is Mozart reincarnated? Yes, thank you. Is he working with music now in his new incarnation? Yes, thank you. Are you reincarnated now, Beethoven? No, thank you. Have you been reincarnated since your passing? Yes, thank you. Uh, were you another famous musical artist in your last incarnation? No, thank you. Did Saliri kill Mozart? Yes. Thank you. Did Beethoven, uh, or Beethoven, did you regain your hearing after you died? 
Yes, thank you. Uh, Beethoven, did you consummate your love with the immortal beloved? No, thank you. Will box music still be appreciated in 300 years? Yes, thank you. Will your music still be appreciated in 300 years? Yes, thank you. Is there a hidden code in music that unlocks hidden knowledge or abilities? Yes, thank you. Are there hidden mu messages in the major celebrity music videos or movie roles? No, interesting. Is it because they're not hidden messages? They're just messages? Yes, okay. Is it better for our body and soul to listen to music tuned to 432 hertz rather than 440 hertz? No, oh, thank you. Uh, do all humans have an innate sense of rhythm? Yes, thank you. Is it more difficult for some humans to find and follow rhythms in music? Yes, thank you. Can people who struggle with rhythm learn to feel and follow a beat? Yes, thank you. Can, uh, does the type of music we listen to influence our vibration? Yes, thank you. Is music the universal sound of the universe? Yes, thank you. Is music available just here on Earth? No, thank you. Can humans survive without music? Yes, thank you. Is music one of our most true expressions as humans? No, thank you. Is there such thing as like one true expression of human? Yes, thank you. Is it, would that be like our bodies? No, okay. Thank you. Um, can music be a way to come into contact with your own soul? Yes, thank you. Is Dojo Cat's music really demonic? No, thank you. Will Freak Ocean return to the music industry? No, thank you. Is Satan running today's music industry? No, thank you. Is listening to or making music a sin? No, thank you. If we chant over meditation music, does singing out of key lower the quality or effectiveness of the chant? No, thank you. Are the devices used to hear energy of plants as music real? Yes, thank you. Can you be drawn to music and culture of your ancestors because it's in your DNA? Yes, thank you. Were the pyramids built using sound frequency? Yes, thank you. Is the cure for cancer a sound healing at a certain uh, hertz? Yes, thank you. Did the spirits of the Alamo laugh when a fart echoed inside the main church? Yes, thank you. Was the recorded underwater bloop sound created by extraterrestrial life? No, thank you. Was the bloop sound heard from the ocean a real creature? Yes, thank you. Is the mantra OM really the sound of the universe? Yes, thank you. Do sound frequencies work on bettering your life? Yes, thank you. Did Diddy, or is Diddy responsible for Kim Porter's death? No, thank you. Did P. Diddy, a.k.a. Sean Puffy Combs, have anything to do with Tupac's killing? Yes, thank you. Uh, did Diddy have any part of killing Biggie? No, thank you. Uh, will P. Diddy go to jail? No answer. Thank you. Are we allowed to know? No answer. Um, is that feature decided yet? 
Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Do we still have Beethoven with us? Okay. Will the entertainment industry change because of the Diddy allegations? No, thank you. Did Diddy sexually assault Justin Bieber? No, thank you. Uh, would Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber be together if Usher and Diddy never got guardianship over him? Yes, thank you. Is Mary J. Blige an accomplice, accomplice of Diddy's? No, thank you. Is Diddy guilty of human trafficking? Yes, thank you. Is Britney Spears that we have seen on social media... Oh, you already asked that one. Will Taylor Swift's music still be appreciated in 300 years? Yes, thank you. Still with me, Beethoven? Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, is Taylor Swift what would be described as a functioning psychopath? No, thank you. Uh, when some artists are very successful, such as Coldplay or Taylor Swift, is that because they have higher frequencies? Yes, thank you. Is Taylor Swift the greatest artist of all time? No, thank you. Beethoven, are you the greatest artist of all time? No, thank you. Is there one artist that is the greatest artist of all time? Yes, thank you. Would that be like Mother Earth? No, thank you. Is it somebody that's alive today? No, thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, is Taylor Swift part of the Illuminati? No, thank you. Will Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey get married? Yes, thank you. Will extraterrestrials ever listen to the music on the Golden Records from the Voyager spacecraft? No, thank you. Do they have the technology to be able to listen? No, thank you. Is Michael Jackson still alive? Yes, thank you. Interesting. Um, did Michael Jackson fake his death? Yes, thank you. Is Michael Jackson in hiding somewhere? Yes, thank you. Is the ghost of Michael Jackson haunting Neverland? No, thank you. Um, when Michael Jackson eventually dies, will he haunt Neverland? Yes, thank you. Uh, did Michael Jackson sexually abuse children? Yes, thank you. Do souls vibrate at specific frequencies in the afterlife? Yes, thank you. Is Avril Lavigne still alive? Yes, thank you. Um, is Avril Lavigne a clone uh, named Melissa? No, thank you. Is the Avril Lavigne we see performing today the same person that we saw when she first came on the scene? Yes, thank you. Interesting. Uh, can AI perform sound healing? Yes, thank you. Uh, do young kids and babies have a higher frequency than adults? Yes, thank you. Do Gregorian chants have healing powers? Yes, thank you. Is Scott Whalen from Stone Temple Pilots doing okay in the afterlife? Yes, thank you. Can we change our reality by changing the sound of our voice? Yes, thank you. Will we find a, ma a way to measure the frequency of our emotions? Yes, thank you. Alrighty, that is all the questions that I have for this session. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll catch you next time.